Hello ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I am going to bring you a new Outre wig and her name is Tayton. This is the care card and she is a bob and I have her in the color 430 Pika 3527. She is one of the lace front wigs. You guys may recall when I did the video about Outre on Parade and I showed you the different um, brands that they carry. Under lace front, they have several different types of wigs. So this is also a lace front, but it's called Color Bomb. I think I mentioned to you the Deluxe that was under lace front and the sleek lay that's under lace front. So they have several things that are under lace front, but this one is color bomb. Now I picked this color out um, when they asked me because there's a lot of these Pika colors and I'm just gonna show you, there's a lot of these Pika colors, but I thought that the 430 with the 3527 would be really pretty and not like look crazy. So let me show you what she looks like. This is her sitting here. Here's the wig. Again, she's a bob. She's a little bit longer in the front than she is for the rest of the wig, so I'm probably gonna cut that. So before I show you the color, let me show you the lace. You actually have a little bit of room to pluck this lace, which is what I'm gonna do in a minute. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. You've got the two combs on each side. You've got your lace part. And of course you have your adjustable straps and your other comb in the back. This wig does not have an elastic band. It's just a middle part. So let me show you the peak up part of this wig. So if you pull the hair up, you can see that it's brown and blonde and copper. So that's what this pika is. It's got blonde and brown and copper in it. So the main color is the 430 at the top. And then you've got the 3524, so yeah. So that's the wig. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and pluck her and then I'm gonna style her a little bit and when I come back, we'll talk about it. Here, I'm just beginning to pluck away that straight line that goes all the way across this wig. Again, it is plucked a little bit behind that straight line, but honestly, um, I got to get rid of that straight line because that straight line doesn't look natural. Then after I did that, when I actually tried the wig on, I started having a huge problem with that lace part. I still couldn't get that together, so I just gave up and decided to just go ahead and get my hot comb and lay the sides down. Because honestly, I don't know what was going on with that part, but it just wasn't working for me. So I just said, okay, the heck with it. So then I just started doing that and focusing on trying to get these baby hairs straight, which again was another uh, trial and error that you guys know I go through all the time. <laughs> It still looks like there's a piece in the wrong place. It just seemed like there's hair in places it shouldn't be. I don't know. It's all in my mouth. 
This part is so odd to me. It's like every time I try to work with it, it just doesn't seem to be working right. And because it's not like a dark brown, I don't really have anything that I can put in here to like thin um, to thin it out. Because in the front, in the front, it's it's just wide. It's a little wider than it ought to be. And if I had like a lighter brown pencil, I could probably do it. Um, but right now it just it just looks odd to me because it's a little big in the front. So this particular wig, again, uh, I think I'd mentioned it early and if I didn't, I'll tell you now. It's too long right here, I think. And so m my goal is to cut it because it curls up right here. And um, it's not the same length as the rest of the wig. And I don't know whether they intended that to be or not. But when I look at the stock card, where is the stock card? When I look at the stock card, because she's flinging her hair around, it's kind of hard for me to tell whether that's supposed to be there or not. It's just longer in the front and I'm not like feeling the way it's flipping up like this. So I'm just gonna chop it off and see how I feel about that. Because honestly, it's driving me crazy, this flip up. It's just driving me nuts. Yeah, ah, that's much better. <laughs> Doesn't that look better? That looks way better. That looks way better. So let me just get rid of this on this side too because I'm like, what were they thinking with all of this hair? So let me just make sure I don't do this incorrectly. And just cut this off. Cut this one off right too. Yeah, that's better. Yes, much better. It doesn't look so crazy at the bottom now like it did in the front to me. So, okay. So the big draw for this hair is the color underneath. So um, if you look at the color, you can subtly see that there's some copper with this brown, but when you pull your hand this way, then you can see the gold and more of the copper. So that's the way it's supposed to be. You're supposed to be able to see a lot of the gold and the copper, you know, when she swings her head, <laughs> you know? So yeah, so that's the way it's supposed to be. So yeah, you swing your head. And unfortunately, this hair keeps sticking to my lips. So I'm gonna cover my hand over my mouth. The color, you're either gonna have to keep doing like this to show it to them, or if you want to pull it back to show them, you're gonna have to lay this down all the way down. And unfortunately for me, because this wig is kind of short, it doesn't come all the way to cover all of my hairline so that I can glue it down and it makes sense for me to pull it back to show you the color. See, cause my hair is in the way. And even if I put you know, this little bit of my hair back, I still don't have enough room with this lace to bring it up close enough so that it makes sense for me to be able to bring it back here and show you the color underneath. So that's a little bit unfortunate for me because if you don't have a lot of hair on your hairline, then you're fortunate. But unfortunately for me, as I said, it doesn't come close enough for it to make sense because my hair is black. So well, actually it's dark brown. But if I had gotten like one of those 1B colors that had the blonde underneath, that might have been fine because the one B color probably would have been the one up front and then I wouldn't have to worry so much about, you know, the uh, sh my hair showing uh, underneath the color that I really want people to see. So keep that in mind. If you have a, um, a larger head, this wig not only is going to be harder for you to glue down. Uh, and again, I've got uh, some hair back here, but when I took my braids out and just let my hair lay flat and put this wig on. It fit okay, but it still didn't come all the way up. So what I would suggest you guys to do is to look at somebody else's review and see if um, they are able to bring it up because maybe they have less hair than me and maybe this lace will come up far enough that they would be able to do that, to be able to pull it back, glue it all the way down and be able to show the hair underneath. So yeah, so just keep that in mind. So let me see, let me show you rather what she looks like in the back. And then there's that color again, back there. 
So it was not supposed to be like a piano blend. Um, they meant it to be peekaboo, which is what they call it. It's called peekaboo. And I think it's really cute. I just struggled with this part in the beginning because the part wasn't straight and I kept trying to straighten it. And uh, then of course, you know, girlfriend is not the queen of baby hair. So I struggled with that too. And then of course I ended up having to put some of my even in the front just to lay it down a little bit. I mean, the baby hairs don't look totally horrible, but you guys know it's not my thing. Um, but I think that you do, you need to wear them. And when I first pulled this wig out of the pack, I thought I saw some, but when I went to go um, to find them and pull them out, nothing came down. So I'm wondering, I mean, even when I cut the lace, I pushed everything back. But my thought is that what I probably did when I plucked her, I probably pulled out the baby hairs when I plucked her because I thought that I wasn't going to use the baby hairs because when I plucked it in the front, I just wanted to pluck it so there wouldn't be a straight line. But it didn't even seem to matter because of the fact that this hair is a bob and it's like middle part and you're really not going to see much of the hairline. And so, yeah, so you don't have to pluck it, but I did pluck it. So if I decided to push it back, then I guess I could uh, benefit from that. But the way I've got it now, not really. Okay, loving it, loving it, loving it, loving the color, loving the length now that I cut that front part off. This wig is too cute and this wig would be a nice wig to wear to work. I think um, I just she reminds me of Bona, especially since I cut the front off of it. She reminds me of Bona, but Bona had those face framing colors in the front and then they had, you know, the regular color. But this one has the hidden color on the side. And so that's really the benefit of this wig is you're swinging your hair around so they can see the hidden color on the side. So, yeah, I just think she's cute. Don't wear lip gloss with this wig, OK? because it's gonna get stuck on your lips. And oh, I hate that. I love lip gloss. I hate my hair getting stuck on my lips. So again, her name is Tayton. And there are several other peekaboo colors on here. I'm just gonna put my glasses on so that you guys can see and I can see the colors. Okay, so the different colors that this comes in is a 1B Pika 425. So that means it's a 1B and then it's got this burgundy color underneath it. It also comes in a 1B Pika 27 613. So that means it's gonna be black with some 27 and 613 underneath it. The next one is 4 Pika 2730. So that's gonna be a four with a 27 and 30 under. I have again the 430 Pika 3527. So I have a 430 on the top and a 3527 underneath. Then there's a 425 Pika Red 99J. And I saw a wig that had those colors in it and they're so subtle that you really can't tell there's three different colors. So just keep that in mind. That's for that particular one. There's a 35 Pika 27613 and then there's a 27613 Pika 30. So there's a lot of different colors that you can choose from. So yeah, um, yeah, she sheds. And of course she probably sheds because I had to um, use my um, tweezers to pluck her up. But you know, you really don't have to pluck her up. I mean, because I was able to, I did it. Because she had plucking room, I plucked her. But I think she's cute. Well, I'm not gonna say she's big head friendly, but I will say that with a 22 inch head and my hair braided down flat, she fits fine, she's not tight. So if you don't have hair, or if you have really short hair, she should be fine. Um, because again, my head is 22 and she's snug because I've got my hair braided down. You guys know my hair has grown to like down to here. So I've had to braid it up and then push the braids up. So underneath here, I've got a lot of room I'm taking up on this wig. So keep that in mind because if you don't have a lot of hair, um, that you have to stuff underneath the stocking cap like I do, then it should be fine for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscription button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Oh, and yeah, oh, and we're almost at 5,000. So you guys just keep it up. Tell all your friends and family, tell your grandma, your auntie, and you know, Bessie down the street that I'm doing wig reviews for mature women. And I would love to have them join the train. So again, ladies, thank you so much for watching. And as I always say, if you're going to show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good. And of course, so are you. See you next time.